Hey guys, it's Noah from Anime Noah Now. Today we're playing Pokemon White 2. And, um, thought I haven't made a video in a while. It's been busy for me, and also, I never knew I had no clue what to play. Did some research on what popular video. I don't know, most people like Gen 5 right now. So, I'm gonna play Pokemon White 2. Uh,. I played it some, never completed it. I know most of it's like the previous games, but a lot of it's different, and jumping right into it. So, my name is Professor Juniper. Everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. <coughs> I will read some of it, but not all of it. Like, I'll read some of the important text. <coughs> um. Anyway, school has been busy, so that's one of the main reasons, not always... But I did finally found, I found a plan to make these videos, hopefully, around the same time when I can. So, let's get right back into the story. That's right, the world is wildly inhabited by mysterious creatures called Pokemon. Pokemon have mysterious powers. They come in many shapes and live in many different places. We humans live happily with Pokemon, living and working together. We complement each other. We help each other out to accomplish difficult attacks. Having Pokemon battle one another, having Pokemon battle one another is particularly popular and de deepens the bonds between people and Pokemon. And that is why I research Pokemon. Well, that's enough for me. Could you tell me about yourself? All right. So, are you a boy or a girl? Well, obviously I'm a guy, so we're gonna pick the boy skin. Yes. All right. My name for the game obviously will be. No, not that. I think it's... Um, there it is. Um, name for the game is obviously going to be my actual name, which is Noah. And there we go. <coughs> yes. So your name is Noah. What a wonderful name. Tell me a little about your friend, the old boy who lives nearby. Would you mind telling me his name? All right. Well. We're actually going to name him after a friend in real life, who is our basic, he's actually my main Pokemon rival, because he's actually, who we play Pokemon against mainly, especially newer, the newer games, and we've been doing a lot of recent, like, we've uh, played Gen 7, like, we played Gen 7 together, we're doing a little challenge in that, so, there we go, Braylon is his name, there we go. Braylon, did I get that right? Yes, you did. Noah, I'm going to trust you with a Pokemon. I'm sure you'll be great partners. The moment you choose a Pokemon that will accompany you on your journey, your story will truly begin. During your journey, you'll meet many Pokemon and people with different personalities and points of view. I really hope you learn what is important to you as a result of your travels. That's right, befriend new people, Pokemon, and grow as a person. That's the most important goal of your journey. Let's go visit the world of Pokemon. Alright, um... So obviously that's the main part in it's spring right now in the game, which is okay, I guess. Um, um, guess we just wait for the start to continue. Um, I do know that our starter is given to our our starter is given by Bianca. Actually, we'll find out soon. Um, there's a rival. Right there by that house. And then here's our mom, I believe. <sighs> mm. Alright, here we go. Oh, hi. Why, Aria Juniper? It's been far too long. What can I do for you? Wow, a Pokedex for my child? Why, that's great. I think a journey would be a wonderful experience. What now? She's already here? Oh, for Pete's sake, you never change. Once you've decided on something, you just start going. Okay, Bianca, right? A big green hat? Got it. Okay, no worries. Sorry if I can't really do voices like some other people. It's kind of hard for me. I try sometimes, but not really. Sorry about that. Noah, I'm home. Do you know Professor Juniper? She's a famous Pokemon researcher. 
Actually, she's an old friend of mine, and she called me today for the first time in ages. This is out of the blue, but Noah, do you want to have a Pokemon? Yes, of course we do. Okay, step one completed. Well, then, do you know what a Pokedex is? Yes, of course I do, because I've played other games. I knew you would. Isn't it amazing how it automatically records Pokemon you encounter? Yeah, another question. You want a Pokedex, right? Yes. Okay, step two completed. Noah, your course of action has been set. A girl named Bianca has come here to meet you. She's Professor Juniper's assistant. I was told to simply look for a big green hat. That's right, you're going to look for Bianca. And then you'll get a Pokedex and a Pokemon to be your partner. Oh, your extra info is in the bag, right? Do you know how to open your bag? Yes. Your girl's name Bianca. I was told you should look for a big green hat. She might be lost because that this is her first time here. Go look for her. Alright, um, Bianca obviously is a rival from the other, the original games, Pokemon Black and White. She was your rival and now she... <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Um. So now she works for the professor, and I believe Sharon is now the first gym leader in the game. Um. So that, I think normal type. So they got rid of the trio, which is kind of upsetting because I think the trio were a really good like. I don't know if they fully got rid of them, but I'm like, they're not the first gym leader anymore. Kind of upsetting, but it's okay. Hey, you get a Pokemon yet? There aren't any Pokemon trainers around here, and I'm getting bored. What's that? A person named Bianca is giving you a Pokemon? Really? Brown's sister. Noah, if you get a Pokemon, take really, really good care of it, okay? Yeah. Okay, let's go get your Pokemon. There's something I have to do. And to do that, I need someone I can trust besides my partner Pokemon. A person I can trust. That's right, I'm talking about you. You seem like you've got good instincts. You head on home. Okay, big brother. Bye-bye, Noah. Alright, let's go find that person named Bianca. Alright, here we go. Let's go. <coughs> <coughs> ah, did not mean to go into the house. Uh, let's see here this way so I've been doing a lot of other things obviously not making videos uh busy schedule you know that too and then I never really know how to like I've been wanting to do a Pokemon video like this for a long time I just never knew how to set it up so about about a week or two ago when I finally started watching the videos Finally got this set up, but then I realized I need a new microphone, so I finally got my new microphone on Thursday. I was- I actually made this video yesterday, but I forgot to press the record button, like a total noob. Forgot to press the record button, and then I was too bothered-some to make the video yesterday after I forgot to press the record button. So, now... It's Saturday, January 22nd, so I'm making the video today, so it might take a few days to be uploaded because I probably plan on editing it a bit. could be uploaded today, but I'm not sure, so let's continue. Come on, go get your Pokemon already. Alright, let's go talk to Bianca. It's so pretty. Hey there, don't you agree? Oh, my name's Bianca. I'm the assistant of the Pokemon Professor, Professor Juniper. By the way, I'm looking for someone. Do you know a person named Noah? Yes. Oh, wait, you're Noah. Wow, you're exactly like what I heard. Nice to meet you. I have a really important request to ask you. Will you help us complete the Pokedex? Yes, of course. Oh, wow, thanks. Your support will help Professor Juniper's research move forward. Anyway, filling up the Pokedex is totally fun. I feel like, uh, Black 2 and White 2 had, like, Black 2, Pokemon Black and White and then Black 2 and White 2 also have, like, a great story, so, like, the, and also, like, the greatest starters, even though Ember is, like, the third one that's a firefighting type within the three start, from Gen 3 to Gen 5. Anyways, here's the starter picks, obviously, Oshawa, Tepic, and Snivy. I'm not picking Snivy just because... Even though Snivy's actually final evolution is really cool, and I actually really do like Snivy, 
I'm not going to pick it. And then Oshawa is going to be a starter for Legend Arceus, which comes out in six days from now. So, less than a week. Uh, next Friday on the 28th. So, that's exciting. And I'm not sure what I'm going to pick. I might pick Cyndaquil or Oshawa. I'm not going to pick Rowlet just because it was it's from, the, like, just the last previous generation of Gen 7. So, I'm not going to pick Rowlet. And also, it was just in Sword and Shield also. So, I'm not going to pick that. I am going to pick Tepig because pigs are cool and fire pig is even cooler. Makes its own bacon. Anyways, oh wow, you and Tepic are a perfect match. By the way, would you like to give a nickname to your Pokemon you choose? No, I'm actually not going to nickname any of the Pokemon in this game because I never know what to nickname them, so I just don't. Because even if I do, I just give them bad nicknames, so I don't end up nicknaming my Pokemon. Okay, gotcha, you're not going to give it a nickname. Let's see. Alright, um, now you've got your Pokemon, so I'll give you this too. A Pokedex. There's our Pokedex. And I think the Pokedex in this game is, like, really cool. Now, obviously, the Pokedex from now to, like, Gen 8 is also, like, it updates a lot. So now it's a Rotom Dex, obviously. <coughs> My question is, what is the Pokedex? If there, if there is a Pokedex in, um, Legend of Arceus, I wonder what it'll look like and if it's, like, how it's actually going to work. Because, obviously, it doesn't look... It doesn't seem like there's any electronical devices. I do actually have a set plan. I think I do have a set team for that game already. But I th think I'm still going to work on it for a bit. Until like I get complete knowledge of what the final start evolutions look like. And what typing there are. So I'm waiting for that. And then once I find out that I'm pretty sure I'm going to have my starter set. And stone, and then my team will be probably similar. I'm definitely gonna have like Basculation on my team. That that one looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna definitely have that, and there's probably a few others I'm probably gonna use. So I guess we'll just find out when I get the game. Now, automatic course the Pokemon you encounter. So Professor Juniper wants you to carry this Pokedex, visit a lot of places, and meet all the Pokemon in the Unova region. All right. I think right now will be our rival fight. Yep. Yeah, we're just going to skip that text because it's just the rival fight, which is normally pretty easy. Especially in um later generations. Like, uh, I think in Gen... Yeah, from Gen 7 to now. Well, except... Except for... The remakes of Diamond Pearl. Gen 7 and Gen 8 had the easiest rival fights ever. Because it... One... You picked your starter and then your your rival would get the weaker one. The, the one weak to you. Which was really dumb. I feel like they made the games a little too easy. Even though the games were already easy because of the EXP share and all of that. So... I mean, Gen 8 was really fun. Like, Sword and Shield was really fun. I loved the story for it. It was just like... Really easy to beat. Like, the hardest fight, I think, was, like, maybe fighting the champion, but I also had a really good set team for that, so it wasn't too difficult. But I did love the aspect of it. I did love the wild area. DLC was super fun. The games were um, quite great. And the brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, even though it has so many bugs and issues, it was great. Um... Here we go. I think we're about to do the rival fight right here. <laughs> but on journey, it's always good. Anyways, I just have to... Pokemon, it looks like a Pokemon Super Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I knew I was about to cough. Sorry about that, guys. And girls. And everybody else. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I try to use guys as a general term. Not to just be specific to one person. Or... One gender. So, there we go. Also, um, definitely go watch Emin JTV. He's one of 
the people I really enjoy watching the Pokemon videos from him. Great PokeTuber. I love his content. Uh, makes awesome videos. Funny, too. Especially Team Sky and Grunty Boy and all them. Like, his separate characters. Also, Pokemon Talk's really fun. Really cool video videos. They were... They're funny, too. You guys would like his content if you don't watch him already. So, here we go. Rival fight. Really simple. Just tackle it. Or whatever move you have. So, just tackle it until, obviously, your opponent's gone. Here we go. Think. Yep, one more hit. And then we'll... Oshawa will be gone. Or, not gone, but... Down. And yep, just gonna... Yep, that's how they work. Tackle a few times, and if they don't do enough damage, they just start kill a thing. So, rival fight, pretty easy. Now, the aspect of this game is... that one. The one aspect I don't like about the game is the training... <coughs> training aspect because the higher level you are from the Pokemon you're fighting is actually going to give you less experience based off that which is kind of annoying but it's what it's kind of a good aspect it actually kind of makes the games harder and actually really fun so there's that so I think all right here we go all right let's make your Pokemon better Yep, she's gonna show us to the Pokemon Center, which I already know what it is and what everything is in it. Let's go inside. Yep. And this is the first time they actually put the Pokemon into the Pokemon. Well, black and white was the first, but then obviously it's just remakes, but different story based. Like, actually more sequels than remakes. I feel like most of the games don't really have. Sequels, they have just remakes. These are actual sequels, which is what I find actually really cool about this storyline because you don't see that for a lot of games. Like, I think this is like the only one that's like that. There's, um, I guess if you really think about it, red and blue to gold and silver was kind of like a continuation. But yeah, I guess, yeah, definitely, even though it's Completely different region. It's kind of like a continuation because in the end you end up fighting red and gold and silver So I think it's like a continuation in that one, too And then obviously this is a you can really tell this is a sequel to the games Because you see all the same people in the game So I do like that aspect of the game. That's really fun and I do actually have a set team for this already now that I have my starter It's gonna be I'm not actually going to tell you guys. You'll find out. Sorry, I should tell you guys, but I'm not. So, you'll find out in the later parts of this. And also, if you do like this, please make sure you comment, like, and subscribe to me. If you want to see more of this content. And push uh, the bell for notifications, obviously. And I think... Now, we're just gonna head up. Continuing the game. Oh, this is our mom. I think she's about to give us the running shoes, I believe. Yep, yeah, running shoes. Alright. Now we can speed this up a bit. I think... Alright, what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna pause once I get to the next town. So, thank you for the time map. Alright, so once we get to the next town, we're gonna pause there and end it there so let's go to next time i'm skipping all this talking because like i already know where to go because like i said i have played some of this before bon voyage take yep yep all right bon voyage bye all right north through the gate i think this person's gonna stop us and then give us a potion. There we go. Alright, um. Here we go. Alright, let's continue. Here we go.
Sorry, guys. Um, I have audio in the background. I'll be right back. I'm going to mute myself, and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Um, let's see here. Once you're continuing this. All right, um. All right, uh, this is obviously the capturing tutorial, which I don't really care about because I've seen it a lot. Sorry about muting myself. I had to go deal with something. Alright, um, this is a basic catching tutorial. Obviously, it's just a purloin. Now, um, seeing a lily flip in a purloin gives me an interesting talk, uh, talking point right here because I actually prefer a lily pup over purloin anyways because I am a dog person over a cat person. So, I've actually never used purloin anyways. I've never actually used a leopard. I have used stout one before, and I think... Great Pokemon, can learn a great variety of moves for being just a normal type, obviously. But, um, I think we're actually just gonna pause right here. I know I said next town, but I think we're just gonna pause before we start the route. I think that's a great pausing point, so we're going to save the game. Save the game. Alright, here we go. Save the game. Alright, and then obviously, uh, since it's an emulator, we're gonna double shift. We're gonna shift and then press F1, and that saves it again. And we're gonna end it here. So, bye guys. I will see you on the next video of Pokemon Black 2.